It was seven months ago when an intense windstorm caused damage to the historic Great Northern Elevator on Ohio Street. Now, several days later, an emergency demolition order was signed off on by the city of Buffalo. That decision sparked several court cases, and today a decision was finally made by the state Supreme Court in Erie County as to whether the emergency demolition order was rushed. Two on your sides, Nate Benson joins us from the Information Center with the details of that ruling and maybe what's next. Hello, Nate. Yeah, good evening, Mary Alice. It was not the post 4th of July celebration. The campaign for Greater Buffalo was hoping for a state Supreme Court judge ruling today that the city of Buffalo did not lack a rational basis for issuing an emergency demolition order for the Great Northern Elevator back in December, saying they took plenty of time to make an informed decision. We got this decision a matter of hours ago, so our attorneys are looking at it. The campaign for Greater Buffalo arguing in court that the City of Buffalo Commissioner of Permits and Inspection Services, James Comerford, rushed the decision to issue an emergency demolition order for the Great Northern Elevator after a section of wall collapsed during a windstorm in December of 2021. That order stated the historic grain elevator was structurally unsound and in imminent danger of collapse. And here we are seven months on and nothing further has happened to the building which seems to support our contention that there is no emergency, that Jim Comerford in fact acted irrationally uh, with the information that was before him. In the court documents released Monday, the judge in his decisions noted that Comerford took six days after the collapse to make the emergency order, and it can hardly be considered as arbitrary. In court, we provided testimony, and there are plenty of engineering drawings and national organizations affiliated with the National Park Service, the Smithsonian Institution, agree that structurally the Great Northern Grain Elevator is not in danger. We're having an argument whether a building uh, that's been standing for a hundred years and was damaged months ago you know, could be uh, demolished on an emergency basis. That even shouldn't be the conversation. The conversation should have been the city mandated repairs on that building. Senator Sean Ryan frustrated with City of Buffalo officials and that Archer Daniels Midland, who owns the site the Great Northern Elevator calls home, has been pursuing demolition of the building for decades. And from the day they bought it, they didn't put a dime into it, but nobody made them put a dime into it. You know, if a resident of the City of Buffalo has downspouts falling off, they get written up and they get told, fix your building. But they just gave ADM a pass. ADM put out a statement Monday afternoon saying, in part, we have said from the beginning of this process that safety of our employees and other Buffalonians is our top priority. As for what's next, Tim Thielman says they are working on an appeal. It would need to be filed by August 12th, otherwise ADM can proceed with demolition. Thielman says the fact that Great Northern hasn't suffered any other damage is cause enough for the emergency demolition order to be reversed. At that point, a public hearing with the Preservation Board could be held to rule on its future. In the Information Center, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.